Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Salem Hemisphere 22RBHL travel trailer. This is a small couples trailer. So you can see on the floor plan popping up there, rear bathroom, front bedroom, middle living kitchen area. We're going to show you what it's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Salem Hemisphere. And we are going to kind of spin you around the inside here real quick and then head on to the outside as well. So first things up, let's start up here in your bedroom area. As you've seen on the floor plan, this is a front living room, rear bathroom kind of couples coach setup. So starting up here, we have a camper queen bed. This bed will raise up. So there is some storage underneath of there. It does have the shock assist on it as well to help it go up and down. Currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. You have hanging closet here. You'll notice on the little advertisement there, it talks about the Wildwood Heritage Glen, which is the little sister product to the Salem Hemisphere. And basically the same thing running down the same assembly line, just different colors. You have some storage across the front section here with the little shock helpers on it. Back in behind here is a little bit of shelf space back there, but there's electric outlet and USB charger port on each side. Window over there does open. There is a slide across door here to give you privacy for your bedroom. But down here at the foot of the bed area, there is a heat duct that comes out the wall instead of out the floor area. The window over there also opens and you have a backer in the wall and there's an electric outlet and a cable outlet on the ceiling up there. So you could mount you a small TV above the window. Now it is very important when mounting a uh, TV to make sure you don't use too big a screw so you don't accidentally drill through the outside wall. That would not be good. Light switch on the side there. So back on out into our kitchen area here. So we have kind of an L-shaped counter extension. A little flip up and down counter extension there. There are two drawers down there as well. And then you have some storage underneath of here. There is the Furion oven, which does have another large pull-out drawer below. Glass front, light up knobs, light inside the oven. Does have a little sparker on it as well. Light switch to turn on and off the lights. And then you have the three burner gas stove top with a flip up and down glass lid. Window back there does open. Sprayer faucet. Large undermount sink. Pretty good amount of cabinet space here. And this one kind of goes back in behind there as well. And you have a little bit of space above your Furion microwave. Furion hood range light and fan. There is a skylight up above as well. The digital thermostat down here for your air conditioner and your propane furnace. TV directly across from your theater seat set up there. You have Furion soundbar, a little bit of shelf space below the TV and below the soundbar. There's also USB charger ports uh, just uh, below that soundbar as well. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You can turn the heat part on or off or the light part on or off. You have the propane leak detector down there and another heat duct there as well. Now right here, you're gonna have the awning in and out button, slide out in and out button, 12 volt tank heaters if you're doing cold weather camping gas water heater button the electric switch is on the outside of the water heater water pump 
some light switches, battery meter, fresh water, black water, gray water meters all right here. Theater seat here is a manual theater seat and it does have the little light up cup holders and light strips below. There's also a table that attaches to the center so if you wanted to sit here and eat inside instead of being outside on a nice day or something or on a rainy day I guess uh, you could sit in here put the little table up and eat. Got little end tables on each side as well. Both of the windows in that section do open and again you have pull down roller shades there. So the theater seat and your refrigerator are all part of the slide. This is the Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So you got refrigerator on bottom and freezer on top. Currently using the Coleman ducted AC. Smoke detector up top here. Your entry exit door, so you do have a screen door. There's also a window in there you can see. Now back in behind the entertainment area, we have a pretty large pantry, uh, pantry or closet area here. So you have a light in here that's currently in on mode, but you can also set it in motion mode. Some shelf space, and then you can kind of see down here that table and the leg for the table that attaches to the theater seat if you want to use it as a little dining area. There is the electric box with the breakers and fuses and your fire extinguisher. Large sliding door to block off the bathroom for privacy. Now here you have a very large bathroom back here. Plenty of room to get into the bathroom area, get undressed, get in and out of the shower and all that type of stuff. So you have skylight up above. It is basically a step-in shower. So you have a pull across vinyl door ABS tub surround, there's a heat duct down there, an inspection panel, and then you have quite a bit of space here for your towels and washcloths, linens, things like that. There's even a window in here. This window again does open. You have a skylight or a vent fan up above here. AC duct in here as well. Over on the opposite side here, we have a medicine cabinet area. There is a little hook holder there as well. There is hanging closet in here if you want to use that for that purpose. Three drawers and storage down below as well. And a decent amount of counter space for a small RV bathroom. All vinyl floor throughout the coach except on the slide out which has that woven material that they use on like pontoon boats and stuff instead of carpet all right guys thanks a bunch we're gonna head outside I want to show you around the outside real quick so check out the outside with me all right we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Salem Hemisphere Hyperlite version 22 RB HL here we're gonna start here in the door side kind of spin our way around so first things up, we have kind of a cream color or off color fiberglass exterior, aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewalls. You have kind of a tan metal skirting around the bottom, tinted windows, tinted safety glass windows. There's a pretty large pass through storage compartment here across the front. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing. Also a light in here and a light switch for the front cap light and then some crank handles in there as well. Now just down below right here, you can see enclosed underbelly and also one of your four scissor jacks. Power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. You have manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. Two outdoor speakers. There is the stove exhaust vent right here. Little flapper in there, you gotta make sure you open it. You have TV mount and TV hookups out here. So an electric outlet, cable outlet. You can do your little TV setup out here. 
pet friendly leash latch holder just below the propane furnace right there. The unit has the heavy duty more ride entrance step. This step flips up into the doorway when you're traveling down the road. But this step is rated for 500 pounds where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. And this step has adjustable feet so you can kind of adjust it as needed to the terrain you're on. The unit has the wide stance suspension system which is supposed to make it tow straighter down the road and have less sway issues than the close together axle type. Um, so that's a little bit of an improvement supposedly on the RV. Now those are aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs currently riding on the Goodyear uh, Endurance tires. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of the RV. Obviously you can see there is a window in there as well. Now just down below right here is a gas line hookup so you could plug in a portable grill. You have hot and cold low point water drains and one of your rear stabilizer jacks. On around to the back here you have a traditional flat back rear end. This unit is prepped in the top center there for the Furion observation camera. Nice safety feature to add on aftermarket. Talk with your salesperson about that. But basically, it's a camera that allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. It comes with a little screen that you can plug into your truck and see what's happening. It is also prepped, that black rectangle up there in the top right, for the Lippert Stow and Go Ladder, which is a telescoping ladder you can buy aftermarket again, and basically hooks on right there, allowing you to climb up and down on and off the roof. Now those ladders are rated for around 330 pounds, I believe, maybe 340, somewhere right in that range. Um, but So they're heavier duty than the traditional 250 pound rated permanent mount on ladders that you see on some RVs. Now back here in the corner, we have the city water inlet, your portable fresh water tank fill, and a black tank flush to flush out the toilet tank. You have cable and satellite inlets here as well. Traditional four inch squared tube bumper. A lot of people like to store their dump hose in there. You have the spare tire and mount on the back as well. And then you also have a hot and cold outside utility shower here. And this one was ordered with the 30 amp electric service. So you have a round about a 30 foot uh, detachable 30 amp power cord. On the back corner here, six gallon gas and electric water heater. That is an inch and a 16th drain plug in the bottom middle that it has. And it also has the electric switch in the lower left corner as well of the water heater. Now looking down below here is your dump area. And you have two long extended pull handles here. Slide out here. Now some people do like to put slide out awning covers over top of these rooms that kind of help shade the room, you know, repel water, leaves, twigs, debris, and things like that. This particular one obviously doesn't have that, but that's something to consider when you are shopping around looking. If you want that feature, can it be added? Just down below here is the gray tank dump as well. So you do have two separate dumps on this model. The other side of your storage compartment area, there's a battery disconnect right up in this corner here. And then you're also seeing the Blue Ox weight distribution sway control system this customer purchased. Nice hitch to consider adding if you're gonna be traveling. Three quarter fiberglass front cap here. Does have an LED light strip built into the lower part. And you have a metal diamond plate on the lower section as well. Room for one or two batteries to go back in behind here. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. Power tongue jack, LED light built in, manual override in case of an electronic failure. Adjustable foot pad, has your breakaway cable, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains. Again, seven way Bargman plug. That runs all your running lights and things and also sends power back from your brake control that you need to have in your truck 
to work the brakes on the RV. Again, very important to make sure you have a brake control in your vehicle so that you can operate the camper brakes. All right, guys, thanks a bunch for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more RV tours. And also check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.